Hello everyone, I'm Steven Snake You Can Lindsay, and today's tutorial is going to be telling you how to combine the two previous tutorials I told you about into one to create Kirby. Hi. Now you may not like Kirby, I like Kirby, but you can also, you know, kill him and blow him up, whatever you feel like with this tutorial. But the important thing is, it teaches you how to combine both elements of masking and opacity to create colors into one. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave Kirby in the corner to show our finished product throughout this entire thing. So the first thing we're going to use is the red circle for the body. So that looks good. So as we know, hopefully, if we go through here, there's no blue circles. So this is where our masking abilities come into place. So what we're going to do is cover this up. And let's see, put it behind it, because that'd be a little bit easier for us. And try to make it as close to the circle as we can, because it'll help us out. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our circle, make a copy of our circle, and put it over our other circle. You might think it's a little bit crazy, but you'll see why in a moment. So what we're going to do, click on our layer we need to change into. So we're going to want to change our blue square into a blue circle. So mask our blue square with the red circle, and then we're going to change it like we did with our triangle in the previous one. So there we go. We have our nice blue circle. So we're going to change the opacity till we get to, eh, that looks about right, which is about within 52-ish range. So what we're going to do is we're going to add black underneath it for a nice little outline. So... Do this, send it to the back. Uh, I need to make it a little bit bigger. So put it to the position that looks good. That looks about right. Now his arms are very similar. So all thing we need to do is copy that. Although the black circle always likes to be kind of a pain. So we do that, send the black to the back again. Then repeat the process for the other arm. So do 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 do. Now, as we see up here, Kirby has kind of dark red shoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our semicircle. So flip our semicircle. I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit fast for some of you out there. And create to an appropriate size. Uh, that probably is about right. So as it's kind of red and we don't have no red semicircles, we're going to use a red square. And like with the blue circle, we're going to get it in the right position so that everything's kind of aligned right. So that's about right. So we're going to copy our semicircle like we did with the circle earlier. So we're going to use red. Go like that and put that on top and change the opacity on that to get a dark red that matches our shoes above. So that looks about right. Again, I'm sorry if I'm kind of rushing, but... As this does take some time and I don't have forever on a YouTube video, I kind of got to get through this quickly. So you may want to slow this down if it's going a little bit too fast for you. So next is our little, our eyes, actually. That probably be a better thing to go with than the blushing. So it looks about right here. I don't want to do that. I want to shorten it some. So we need another pair. Make sure they're about even. Then we need blue semicircles. So you should hopefully know how to do this by now. So we do white so we can see easier. So we put it into here and match it up to what we want. So this is probably about right. So what we're going to do is go up here, change it black to black, back to black, you know, ACDC. Um, uh, actually it's back in black, my bad. So what we're going to do is use blue here, like earlier, and use it for our semicircle and get it close to we can. Really doesn't quite matter this much as we're not matching it up like our other ones. So we do this, change it over, and put it into our black ovals, which are our eyes. Lower the opacity so we get a dark blue. Then copy this and put it in our other ones. Now for his eyes, they're white pupils. So find our black circle, 
invert it to white and put it inside here. Copy, copy, listen to me, and put it in our other ones. So it's more or less complete. We see we still have the little blush embarrassed marks to go. So we have red, put it on top of ours. Let's see, put it right here, lower it. So that's about right. As we can see right now, we have three layers of color to create that certain color. Then of course, Kirby's always happy because I think he has no brain. So make a big good old smile. And there we go, we have Kirby. Hopefully this tutorial has taught you more than just being able to create Kirby. Even though I'm sure some of you may enjoy that for being able to create it and abuse it in the future or just being able to have it in your library and saying so. I think I said library wrong. Okay. So anyways, this is also meant to teach you how to use opacity with masking. So now you should be able to combine those two elements together to create some pretty good objects in the near future with some of the more advanced stuff I might be teaching you really soon. Now the next tutorial I'm going to be telling you about and teaching you about is how to create a simple pistol because the one on SG really doesn't fit the way that I want a gun to look. And also please, if you like this video and you really want to be up to date on other tutorials done by me, simply subscribe to me. It only takes one click of that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, please rate it, comment it, fave it, tell your friends that use SG or anyone that really has any questions about this at all.